Hey everyone, Mtast here with a very quick guide on how to kill Oryx in the King's Fall Raid. This is one of the most mechanically heavy uh, raid bosses that there is, and he is very, very difficult. I really hope that I can explain this in a way that it all makes sense, and hopefully you can beat it very, very soon. Now, let's get started. So as you walk towards his light, it is then going to spawn Oryx who pops up there, and the engagement begins. One thing to optimize is I highly suggest trying to make orbs at the beginning. Try to move to the middle so that they're in a very easy um, access area so that other people can grab them. And then you can really get going, start the engagement. We just made a ton of orbs. The reason you want to do that is because if you have someone who uses a bubble, you're going to want to use it in the middle to get DPS and protect your team from ads. Now, the next part here is you're going to want to kill these enemies on the top and you're going to need to disperse into four groups. Now, let me show you an image very quickly. Now, I know this is very crudely drawn. I apologize, but I want to show you a top-down view so you understand what I'm saying. There's going to be four platforms, one in each corner, where Oryx is going to choose one of the places, usually one of the closest two, and he's going to slam down his fist. This creates a dark orb that someone is going to get to go into the other realm. Opposite of it somewhere, there is going to be a relic that you're supposed to pick up and slam down on the knight in the middle. Once he is chosen aside, the Dark Orb will spawn, and you now need to create platforms as you did in the phase before it. Now, the way you do it is you're going to make a counterclockwise C formation. So if you look at it here, the Dark Orb is there. That is actually number one, two, three, four. Very simple. You need to follow this pattern. If it switches to the other side, it's going to be somewhat like this. Again, in a counterclockwise C, if you will, and if you can picture that. So let's look at the gameplay. At this point, Oryx is about to slam down his fist and start the sequence. We're going to have everyone jump up in the order we need to, which is that C formation, and now you need to be ready for an ogre. It will spawn directly in that corner in that little pool, and you need to take it out as quickly as possible. Throw a grenade, use a super if you have to, but you need to kill it while standing on the plate. If you stop standing on the plates, the platforms will remove and then you're going to screw over the entire run. So now that you've done killing that guy, you can kill the other guys, and at this moment here, Blue has actually told us that he has now got the relic, so we are able to get off the platforms. Kill the ogres, start moving mid, and you're going to see in a second here a blue flash. So this flash is because the relic holder is slamming it down on the knight at the far end there who holds a shield. Kill this knight as quickly as you can, because once you kill him, the relic holder is able to now take that shield and move it around the map. You want to set up, hopefully use a bubble shield so you have enough DPS, and you're going to get ready. You are invulnerable in this bubble, so do as much damage as you can. This means you're invulnerable to adds, but if you do not do enough damage this phase, he will instantly kill you and the round is over. So after you stagger him and he has done this animation, you now need to take the four people who killed the ogres and go back to where the orb was that's going to spawn where you killed the ogre. So if you didn't kill him there, it will be in another area. Now, when you are there, count to three, all go in at the same time, Get ready, and as soon as it's ready to burst, it's going to say in the bottom corner there, you can run away. Now, you can get back into the bubble and do as much damage as humanly possible in this next phase here. You can't stagger him again, and this is it. Those orbs that you were just in explode, do 25% of his health, and you are now ready for round two. So, what's going to happen? There's going to be a whole bunch of rockets getting shot at you. There is going to be a ton of bombs blowing up behind you, and you cannot cross paths because you're going to get each other killed. Try to find an area where you all have room to run around, and as long as you're sprinting, you won't get caught by these. After these are done firing, I highly suggest you get ammo because you're going to have a few seconds before Oryx slams down again, and the round starts over. As you can see here, because I'm the first one who spawns the ogre, I need to take him out very quickly and stay on my platform. Once they're all dead, you do the same thing. Blue has moved to the middle, used his uh, slam down on the knight, and we are going to get this shield and move over to where Oryx is. It's the exact same thing. Now, the thing to remember after this one, however, is the mechanics begin to change. So after you've done two of these, or you get him below 50% health, he is now going to do a different mechanic. Once you have cleared these dark orbs, you've done a bit of DPS, he's going to fall down again and go up on the end. He will then spawn this orb in the middle with knights up on the platforms you need to kill immediately, and he's going to start spawning in some thralls on the left and right side of the orb. 
Kill them immediately or they will go inside the orb. What happens on the inside of the orb is he's going to take you one by one and throw you in the middle with a big boss with a sword who one bangs you essentially if they hit you. It's going to stay on the outside of the map, but it can come in the middle and hit you with the sword. So as he keeps bringing people in, you need to get the DPS on, because if you don't kill it in time, your entire team wipes. After you've killed that boss, grab as much ammo as you can, use a synthesis if you need, and set up for another rotation. You're going to do the platforms, kill the ogres, shoot oryx, do the orbs, and once again you are going to be sent into the middle of this other dimension here, fighting this sword boss. Kill it one more time, and then guess what? Another rotation. So let's watch this one more time. This is the final rotation. I'm going to show you what happens. So one of the things we weren't sure about is if you can actually kill him in this damage phase or not. We are guessing because it happened to us twice that we couldn't do enough damage in that phase to fully kill him. So that's why I'm showing you the next part with the next final ending moments. So. After he drops down, reload all your shit. I messed up and not, didn't have my primary ready, um, but I got my rockets ready. Is He's going to pop up on the end here, open up his chest, and if you do not kill him here, you wipe. So, good thing we had weapons of light. We did as much damage as you could. I switched to my sniper, and boom! Sent that piece of shit flying off into space. So, make sure that you're getting all reloaded, because this is a very panic situation. And if you don't do enough DPS, you just ruined your entire run in the last second. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully this made sense, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.